Hey guys, what's up? It's Daniel with TrailerMountain.com and today I'm going to be testing and reviewing the Hammock Bliss Skybed Bug Free. This is from HammockBliss.com. Here's their website right here. Make sure you check these guys out. These guys are making a lot of really nice hammocks and I definitely wanted to showcase one of these and show you what it's all about. Alright, so before I set up the Hammock Bliss Skybed Bug Free, uh, I just want to go over a couple of features. It is 32 ounces, so it is pretty hefty, but I'm um, sorry, there's a lot of bugs flying around me, so that's why I can't wait to get this thing set up. It's also an asymmetrical design, so basically what that means is that you're not going to lay directly in it straight front to back. You're going to lay it more diagonal, and there's a built-in sleeve that incorporates and houses your sleeping pad. So a really, really unique design, and I'm going to get it set up on the trees behind me. All right, so before I get this thing set up, I just want to show you the cordage that it comes with. This is the regular cordage, and it's a six millimeter climbing rope, so it's super, super strong. And basic design, you just use a regular knot to secure it around the tree. So Hammock Bliss was also nice enough to send me the Hammock Bliss tree straps. So what these do is basically you secure these around the tree so that the rope doesn't hurt the tree limbs and the tree um, stump, bark, whatever. So really nice. It also comes in this uh, nice little stuff sack that's made of the same uh, material, like hammock material. It's really, really nice. So here's your straps right here. Basic design. Nice little loops right here. Just wrap them around the tree. That's what we're going to do right now. So now that the straps are in place, I'm gonna move the camera around so you can see the actual setup of this hammock. All right, so let's go get this thing set up. So that's the basic idea. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a little closer. I'm gonna show you how this thing uh, uses the straps and how well it um, incorporates around the knots. I did have to improvise a little bit because the trees are pretty far apart. All right, so all I did right here is just use a regular double knot, pretty simple around the tree strap. And you have these cool little loops right here. I'll get to that in a minute. Your basic setup here. As I said, I had to improvise on the tree strap a little bit because this side was a little bit short. But you do have 100 inches of cordage here, so that's really, really cool. I could have just used one cord and made this thing a lot longer, but I chose not to. There's another little yellow loop here, and I'll get to that in a minute. So on the outside of the hammock body, there's a little pocket here with 100 inches of cordage on either side. And what you're gonna do here is you're gonna tie this up and that's going to suspend the uh, hammock bug net above the hammock. So that's what I'm going to do right now. It's pretty buggy out. I can't wait to get this thing set up so I can get inside this thing and get away from all these bugs. So that's the idea is that the, basically the, um, the bug net is going to stay suspended above the hammock body. So I'm going to um, open it up and I'm going to show you what it looks like inside. Alright, so the basic design here is that you get the string out of the pocket and then this loops all the way around the tree here and comes back around to the other loop. So what that's going to do is definitely going to raise this bug net way above your head and make things way more comfortable. All right, so first things first, it has YKK zippers throughout the hole and the entire hammock, the zipper starts here, and ends way over here. So you have a full length zipper, YKK zippers. So they didn't skimp on like a quality zipper. So it's really, really nice, very well constructed. This noceum kind of just flips over 
and then you have your hammock right here and if you see this silver if you can see this silver sleeve this is the sleeve that you slide your sleeping pad into so you can lay basically flat okay so the hammock will accept any 72 by 20 inch sleeping pad and uh, inflatables as, as well so i have a vaude norskin 2.5 inch sleeping pad inflatable that i'm going to slide in here right now and i'm going to show you how that sets up so here's the sleeping pad right here i'm going to leave the valve towards the um, outside by my feet so I can easily get to it and you know uh, take any air out that I need to. Okay so now the sleeping pad is installed into the sleeve and as I said it's an asymmetrical design so basically you lay in this thing diagonal that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna get in it and I'm gonna show you how cool it is. Okay, so you get in pretty much just like any other hammock you would. Kind of just kind of plop your butt in there. Give it the old shake test. Make sure it's okay. Let the hammock settle in. And then you kind of just swing around. Take your shoes off, of course. That's what this uh, pocket on the front is for. Really, really great for storing your shoes if they're, you know, flip-flops or whatever. Hop in. Get your net closed, and then you lay diagonal, just like that. All right, so I'm in the Hammock Bliss uh, Skybed Bug Free, and it's super duper comfortable. Um, took a little while to get the bug net all dialed in so where it wasn't like hanging into my face while I was laying down. You know, right now, I'm laying down and I'm almost flat and the bug net is not in my face. So really, really cool, but it took a little while to get it dialed in. So another cool feature inside this hammock is the gear pockets right here. You also have gear loops up top, so you can hang stuff if you need to, but you have a pocket here, another smaller pocket here, and then you have another one over here by my feet. And uh, you can just tell, just laying in this hammock, just, I'll put it over here just so you can kind of see, I am almost completely flat, which I really like. and. More importantly, I like that I'm away from the bugs because it's very buggy today. All right, let's get the um, let's get the rainfly set up. All right, so speaking of no bugs inside your hammock, the bug netting here. This is 2,100 holes per square inch, so definitely no insects or bugs are going to get in here, and it's super duper strong. I'm pushing on this thing really hard and it's not even leaving stretch marks. The hammock body itself is super duper strong as well as this, uh, this ripstop material. So it's definitely going to take a beating if need be. I mean, granted, it's a hammock, so you probably won't be beating this thing up because it doesn't lay on the ground. But still, super nice, very comfortable, and as I said, you know, full length YKK zippers. So... YKK right there good stuff all right so hammock bliss was also nice enough to send me the rainfly cover for this hammock and I'm gonna set it up there is two different ways you can set this up you can set it up asymmetrical meaning that you can go point to point like a diamond or you could set it up in traditional a-frame style so I'm gonna set it up a-frame I'm gonna show you how easy it is to set up So now the rain fly is on the hammock, and these are just set up with regular guy lines and stakes. Stakes are not included, so keep that in mind. And you have a full coverage fly that's going to keep you dry, keep the elements off of you. 
really really nice setup another thing I wanted to mention is on the actual fly itself which I have upside down right now but you have these really great you know pull cords to make everything nice and taut so you just pull on these little guys and that will make everything nice and tight and then you don't have to worry about it sagging or anything like that on you all right so I just spent the second night in the hammock bliss uh, sky bed bug free and you know after I got the bug netting situation all squared away I, I really like it you know it's um, it's super comfortable um, I'm not in a sleeping bag I'm just using a quilt but kind of give you an idea about my situation here just in my enlightened equipment 40 degree quilt it's not very it's not very cold uh, it wasn't very cold last night it was only I don't know mid 50s so I just got a 40 degree quilt and I was totally comfortable all night I didn't even I didn't even uh, I didn't even need my under quilt really so um, but yeah just uh, really liked the whole design um, the yellow gear loops on the inside here so I can keep my glasses but yeah I slept uh, I slept well all night and my overall impressions of the sky bed bug free really good you know there's uh there's a lot of great features of using a hammock so there's a lot of great features and benefits to using a hammock and you know for one is you're off the ground number two is you never have to find a flat ground you know so number three is the only downside is you have to find two perfectly placed trees um, you can get creative with it at times too so that's that's pretty nice as well it, you have that option okay so my overall impressions of the hammock bliss sky bed bug free are pretty good I, I really like it it's a very well made hammock um, tons of features very well designed with some innovative features like the um, you know the built-in string uh, pockets that help support the bug net over your head and you know the interior pockets and the gear loops and many other features you know this it's a it's a great hammock you know it doesn't weigh too heavy but you got a lot of features inside this thing so that's pretty cool all right so that's my review of the hammock bliss skybed bug free from hammockbliss.com here's that website right here definitely want to make sure you check these guys out these guys are making a lot of high quality stuff and definitely worth a look at so if you like my review and found it informative you want to get one of these for yourself click on the link down in my description box below and make your purchase when you do it helps support my website another way to help support is to click on the support button on my youtube channel when you do that, you can donate any number of dollars, and what that's going to do is going to allow me to produce higher quality content to give back to you. So thanks again for all the help and support and love you guys have shown me over the past couple years. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you leave them down below, and I will get back to you as quickly as I can. Also, too, please like, share, and subscribe. Here's the subscribe button right here. Make sure you click on that. This way you stay up to date on the latest gear reviews that I'm working on. Thanks again for tuning into TrailMountain.com. Please keep checking back for more gear reviews and other outdoor-related hodgepodge. Take care, guys. Get outdoors. All right, so we're gonna put it away now and I'm gonna show you how easy it is to just wrap back up. And that's that, super easy to put back in a stuff sack, keeps everything nice and neat, and as you can tell, keeps it off the ground, keeps everything nice and uh, clean.